Yo, this is Eternal Place. Pokemon Violet and yes. You're not seeing things. Right there, sitting in that chair, is Professor Turo. But, but what's going on? And why were these scary Paradox Pokemon coming from here where he is? He has to answer some questions. But be warned. We are about to get some really big plot twists. Some really dark plot twist as well. This is kind of kind of frightening plot twist for a Pokemon game. Thinking this is for game for kids and uh, yeah. Here we have it. Human presence detected within the zero lab. I'll just let him talk. Deactivating sleep mode. What the? Hello, Zitano. Thank you for coming. A master ball? What the? No. Back to your ball. It's his Pokemon? With a master ball? That one is far less tractable and far more aggressive than the one you traveled with. Your Miraidon fled Area Zero because it lost to the other one in a territorial struggle. Oh, wow, that's so that's why. I'm afraid there is something for which I must apologize. I am not the true Professor Turo. Yeah, we kind of saw that when he like booted himself up and then his laser eyes and the way he lagged. Obviously something was wrong, but yeah. So he's not a Professor then who is he? What are you talking about? I am not artificial intelligence the Professor created, imbued with his memories and knowledge. In short, I am an AI-powered robot. And then... <coughs> get ready. The real professor passed away during the incident that destroyed research station number four. <laughs> Whew! As I said, dark plot twist. This is the first time, I think, ever that death of a character, or death of a noticeable character, is present. That's right, Professor Turo, Arvin's dad is dead. They just talked about it. He passed away. It's not like oh, he was just uh, injured or something. No, he died. He got killed. It's this is a Pokemon game. But I gotta tell you though, Game Freak. I don't know. You know, watching my Let's Plays. No one watches my Let's Plays. But people, I want to see more of this storytelling. Please, this is epic. Passed away. Yeah, this is dark. The Pokemon was not to be blamed. It was the original professor who failed to ac accurately judge its power. Accurately. Accurately. Yeah, I like that. I believe the professor wanted nothing more than for the Miraidon to survive and thrive. That is why he threw himself in front of your Miraidon attempt to protect it. From the time I first reached out to Director Clavel and asked to be put in contact with you, I was never more than an AI. Sitano, the reason I asked you to come to me is because I have one last thing to do here at the Zero Lab, and I desire your help. In short, I wish for you to put a stop to the time machine the original professor created. Uh, why? Any questions can be addressed as we make our descent. Follow me. Whew. That was um that was heavy. For a Pokemon game, I would say it's one of the most heaviest things I've ever had to encounter playing Pokemon all the way back in the nineties playing Pokemon Blue as my very first Pokemon game, and that was actually an emulator, that was a ROM game because 
Pokemon hadn't come out in the West then, and I played a fan translated version of Pokemon Blue, with bad but funny translation. Then I bought Red when it came out in Norway, and I've been playing Pokemon games ever since. And uh, oh boy. Ah, the boost energy. This is the thing that basically boosts up um, these. Um, this is the things that boost up these. Um, these uh, Pokemon. Like you see here, Quark Drive also is on to um, Iron Bundle. Boost the power Pokemon's proficient stat on electric terrain, or if the Pokemon's holding booster energy. So basically, it's gonna cause his main stat, probably special attack in this case, to be increased a lot. While it has boost, boost energy. So it's a pretty powerful item, but only certain Pokemon that can that has an, an ability that can affect from it will be useful. But it's a very powerful move, powerful item for sure. Let's continue. This elevator will take us down to the lower level. Step inside. Sitano, it is truly a great relief to, to me that you came. I will answer any questions you may have. Is there anything you wish to know? What is an AI really? Well, we can't know this in 2023, but... Or 2024 even, but... Yeah. An AI is an artificial, artificial intelligence created by a human being. A computer draws on the original professor's knowledge and memories to calculate all of my thoughts and actions. The result of those calculations are expressed by this mechanical body built to resemble the professor in every way. Humanity does not, in fact, possess the knowledge to develop such a so sophisticated AI at present. But the crystals that make up the Zero Lab have made such a thing possible. They are also why I cannot leave this place. <sighs> oh well, let's continue. Next, prof what is the... What happened to the real professor? As I explained to you before, the original professor no longer exists. During the destruction of the research station, research station, his physical body received grievous injuries that left it unable to sustain life. I am afraid that this is the fact may be difficult for his son, Arvin, to accept. I now manage the Zero Lab in the original professor's place. Yeah, so what he said basically that he, he suffered fatal injuries and he succumbed from it. and died. Yeah. Death. Death in the Pokemon game, guys. It happened. And, uh, I wouldn't mind if they do it again, but it has to fit. Because, uh, the target audience of these games are people that are much younger than us. And me as well. These are people that are supposed to be kids. But at the same time, it's good for kids to get some knowledge about death, though. So what is this time machine, though? The time machine is device that the original professor and I worked on together. So basically, Turo and AI Turo created together. That'll be fun though, creating an AI robot of yourself. That'll be kind of fun. It sends Pokeballs to a different point in the timeline to catch Pokemon there, and it can then draw them back here to the present. So that's how the Pokemon came. They weren't just transformed there just, while, just normally. They had to be captured in that timeline, sent through the time machine, and then they can be sent out here. Okay. When he was alive, Professor Turo had great fascination with Pokémon from another age, which you might call future Pokémon. And if you're playing Pokémon Scarlet, he would then say that Sada was fascinated by Pokémon from past Pokémon. Even as we speak, the time machine continues to automatically draw future Pokémon to this time. Is there anything else you wish to ask? Well, we're gonna stop time machine, but is that really it? Nothing else? The vision of Professor had a dream of a world in which future Pokemon might live alongside present day Pokemon in harmony. But these Pokemon had gained a strange power due to their adaptations in the distant future. And this power has proven too terrible. 
Their very existence bring destruction to the eco ecological balance of this current age. Yeah, one of the reasons why you can't have p wild animals, let's say South America and maybe Australia and Asia, to be in Norway, because not just because they can survive because of the climate being cold here, but it can also endanger the biological, uh, ecological, and biological balance of wildlife in Norway from before. That's why you can't just have any animal living everywhere, because it can actually cause more issues than good things. Same with plants as well. The original professor would say that such destruction is a natural part of life. At present, the barrier around Area Zero is still working to keep the future Pokémon from escaping into the rest of Paldea. Okay, well then that means why did... Um, I guess we don't need to have uh, Penny and uh, Nimona running around to fight them off because there's a barrier here that prevents them from going out but how did that f how about iron treads though how did that one escape i've begun to see pokemon appear that can break the barrier such as iron threads eventually they will break free of this walled garden known as area zero and run rampant across the paldea region and when they do the rich and varied ecosystem of paldea will be trampled beneath their coming and may have been created as a copy of the professor. And yet, I cannot seem to find logical in which allowing such a tragedy to occur. But any hope of preventing it would require overcoming the greatest AI that the original professor ever devised. Sitano, you have become a formidable trainer. Now, use that strength you have gained to destroy the dream Turo once cherished. I guess we have no other choice, but then again, we have to do it. I appreciate your willingness to help. We have reached the lowest level. Wow, a full crystallized room. Look at this place. It's like the whole room is in a crystal. That must be a time machine, I guess. Look at this room, like a giant crystal. I'll be. How could it be in that? In being inside this thing must be weird. Behold. This is a time machine we perfected using the power of the terrestrial phenomenon. So now I basically have to go there click the thing and then and then that and that's it we stop the time machine and we win look at this thing look at this place it's frightening I mean just being in a room like this in real life I mean sure there's a way out here right but let's say this door just vanished into crystal as well being locked inside this here must have made you drive into madness I would have done at least so we're now going to go and get to that thing. And time machine stops. Do you think it's going to be that easy? Of course not. Oh no. I'm going to stop this episode right now. It's a bit early. The reason is because coming up is one of the most climatic, dramatic, but epic ways to conclude the main story in a Pokemon game ever. It's terrifying epic but you almost have this energy like oh you just want to move forward you're so excited this is prime storytelling at its best and game freak might have been getting a lot of you know crap for this these games lagging and all that sure this the, uh, the game is not really optimized for for the switch and the switch itself is not strong enough for divisions of game freak but what is this game has it has potential Potential, potential, potential. Just see a Pokemon Legends Arceus. A great game about potential. And when the Switch successor is being announced, I mean, as of this recording, it's not been announced yet when I'm recording this uh, episode, but when it's announced and they're going to get this game on the Switch, if it's going to be backwards compatibility, which I hope it will be, or we're going to get Generation 10, I am super confident the future Pokemon is going to be ever so good. So people thinking that Pokemon is going to die with the Generation 9? Oh no. This is going to be epic. Tick Legends 
and Scarlet Violet with with better hardware and better optimization of graphics and all that. Oh boy, Pokemon! I wouldn't be surprised if Pokemon's gonna be named Game of the Year on Game Awards or maybe win it. That's gonna happen for sure. Anyway, enough about that. Next episode, we're gonna start the climatic epic finale of the main story of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet by stopping this time machine. But it won't be as easy as you think, and it's gonna become dramatic, yet epic. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on social media. That's quit for now. See you next time. It's my journey in Pokemon Violet. Continue.